Golden Eagles of Tennessee Tech join us here on the 2022 Ohio Valley Conference Football Media Day presented by Delta Dental. Gentlemen, the purple and gold has arrived from Tennessee Tech. Left to right as you're looking, Coach Dwayne Alexander, Jeremiah Oatesfall, the transfer quarterback, Josh Relaford there. Got to get some defensive love, right? Okay, okay, we'll get it. We'll get to, I got to let Coach open things up, so. Okay, fifth season. Time to get it done. It's time to get it done. That's exactly right, and uh, we're super excited uh, about this season. You know, it's the 100th anniversary of Tennessee Tech football, which is a very unique opportunity. I, I feel honored to be able to be the head football coach of the – you know, the 100th football team, which is an awesome thing. There's a lot of people excited about that, a lot of events for our program, you know, so around that. A lot of alumni back. We had a big dinner this past weekend, had over 300 alumni back, football alumni. So we're very excited about this uh, football team in this 2022 season. Okay, so let's catch up because we haven't had the opportunity to do this in, in a, several years, actually, <laughs> three three to be, uh, d to be exact, uh, up and down. Uh, kind of seasons for you, a uh, couple of seasons with a great start, uh, kind of mediocre in the middle, you, you struggle quite a bit. Uh, how do you feel about this team coming I, up? I feel great about this team coming up. You know, this is a team that we desperately needed an off season. You know, we haven't had a normal off season, you know, because of COVID, you know, the last couple of years. And you know, we really had a lot of momentum after the 2019 season. Uh, you know, kind of had a you know, big turnaround breakout year for us, you know, very competitive. You know, we won six games. Uh, had a lot of excitement going into the off season, and we had one day of spring practice and then sent everybody home, you know, for five months. And, you know, we were a program at that point where we had a still a good young team and, and, and just, you know, it really hurt our development. You know, we didn't have a you – know, we're talking about the off seasons, you know, those type things. We just didn't have them. And uh, so it's been very good for us, you know, to have this uh, complete, uh, complete year to spend with our team, and it's, it's really helped us. Jeremiah, has it helped you in, in, in transferring from Memphis? Um, you're familiar with this league, obviously. Uh, is that off-season, preseason, been of assistance to you? Yeah, it, it, it's been really good, especially um, because this is a new offense for a lot of the guys. Um, I was fortunate enough to be able to have a very similar system uh, with Coach Satterfield being my coach for two years at Austin P. So just coming here and being able to help not only the players and the coaches, but kind of Get, a, get the guys to see kind of how we want things run on offense and how Coach Alexander has already s established a culture. And we just want to add on to that and, and build on that. So this offseason has been really good, especially as a quarterback chemistry with your with your skilled players, you know, getting to know your offensive line. Um, it, it's been really helpful. Feeling any pressure coming in and, and needing to be the guy and needing to be the point of, I mean, the quarterback's always the point of emphasis, but you kind of get where I'm going with that line of questioning. Yeah, uh, not really. I mean, this is my sixth year. I've, I've I've been in this league for four years. This will be my fifth, so uh, nothing's really new. Um, I'm just excited, and I just want to give everything I can for this program for my last year. And my daddy won a state championship at Tennessee Tech as well uh, in high school. Josh, what's a defensive back doing recording a lot of tackles? Uh, <laughs> I just say doing what Coach tell me to do, get to the ball. So. Uh, that's, that's the only way I can answer that. And, and you know, but to the point, broadcasters kind of uh, talk a little bit more. Oh, man, that, that got defensive back leading the team in tackles. There must be something wrong. But that's not always the case. Yes, sir. They just, uh, I feel like they just put me in the best position to make a play. Uh, that's what uh, defense coordinator do. Uh, the coaches tell, Coach A always tell me, 11 hats to the ball. That's how we think of it. So that's how I look at it. So talk about your journey to Cookville. Uh, take us, let's just get started at high school and just move our way to today. Okay, well, coming out of high school, I didn't have no offers out of high school. Uh, so I went, ju I, I took the JUCO route. Um, so I went there for two years. I uh, red shirt my first year, played my second year. I get a call from uh, Coach A, telling him he want to offer me. Uh, they would only offer our JUCO. I mean, I had no choice, so I went to Tennessee Tech. Family loved it on my visit. Uh, I mean, they told me I could come in and play right away, and I love that because I was ready to play. I was close to the home. Kansas is 17 hours from home. Cookville is just five, five and a half. Uh, so my family loved it. I felt like I could get on the field early, so I made it happen. As a as a parent of a tech grad, I, I, I kind of just wanted to touch on it. I think it's important. Uh, academics. 
Oh, yeah. Pretty rigorous, uh, pretty rigorous school. And I got Jeremiah nodding next to you. And he, he's got a little bit of experience in comparisons, but talk about your experience academically. Well, um, I really didn't know what I wanted to do whenever I uh, went to Tech. Well, when I went to college, well, JUCO. Mm -hmm. So I was undecided. Uh, I met some good professors at Tech. Uh, I found out really what I wanted to do when I took the, my master's route. So I wanted to get into business. So I went to took my MBA when I found out I had extra years. So I talked to Coach Ed about it. He, he talked to me about it. I felt like I wanted to do. So I, um, I'm taking my MBA right now, uh, last semester. So I'm almost there. I believe we have two graduate students yeah. here, correct? So tell us what your degree is in, uh, Jeremiah. My undergrad is in business management. And I'm getting, uh, I'll complete my master's like Josh in December in education. Outstanding. All right, so what are you going to do? So when I, when I get done with this, I want to be a, a high school football coach and a teacher. I kind of sense that. I kind of sense that out of both of you. Yeah. What about you? I want to get into consulting or bad real estate. And I'm also going to be a little barbering on the side. So. Uh, work on yours. Exactly right. You know, <laughs> very limited what we can do here. <laughs> Bob asked Josh, is there anything he could do with this? He just kind of looked at me like, Coach, I don't know. He gave you an honest you answer. He, he was very honest. That's why I like it. Let's talk about this schedule this season yeah. for uh, Tennessee Tech. Uh, well, we open up with Kansas, the Kansas yeah. Jayhawks on the road. Uh, so right out of the gate, you know, playing a, a, an FBS team. Uh, that's a Friday night game, September 2nd, which is a little unique. It'll be the first Friday night game that I've ever coached as a as a head football coach uh, in college. Usually we'll play Thursday nights or Saturday mm -hmm. nights. And then uh, we open up at home with Texas A&M Commerce and Sanford, you know, to open the season. And of course, have the OVC schedule, you know, after that. So, uh, but we open up on the road, have two home games, you know, in a row before we get into our OVC schedule. So. A, a very competitive schedule. We're on the road at UT Martin. We're on the road at SEMO. Uh, and we're on the road for a non-conference game at Kennesaw State. So all of those, certainly, we will have our have our hands full. But, uh, you know, we're, we're excited for the challenge. Been in the Upper Cumberland, that part of Middle Tennessee, for a long time. Kind of tell us what drew you back to Tennessee Tech. Well, you know, obviously, I, I love the school. have a lot of relationships there. Uh, you know, it's kind of been my home away from home. I'm from the the Gallatin, Hendersonville, Sumner County area is kind of my base uh, base home. But I went to college at Tennessee Tech, played there uh, collegiately, and uh, you know then uh, I spent a lot of my adult life, you know, really in yeah, Cookville. Sure. So, but but know a lot of people there uh, in town, you know, in Cookville, and just love the area. And it's only an hour and a half from where my, you know, my family and everybody's based at. I, I'm very blessed. I've coached football for 34 years, and I've never left the state of Tennessee to coach and that's not easy to do in this profession so uh, I feel very very blessed. Not when you cross over to the high school and the college ranks that is, that, that is pretty impressive. I've been playing this question with uh, most everybody Josh so I'll start with you go to you and then to Jeremiah. Uh, finish this sentence for Tennessee Tech to be successful this season this must happen. Well all all teammates must be uh, motivated to play this game, of course. Uh, who we playing for, uh, front and back jersey. Um, being able to play every day, every day, practice every day, be consistent, being motivated, accountability, all that we need, all that. And I feel like that's what we need with Tech playing behind Coach A and this uh, university. Go ahead, Jeremiah. Uh, for me, I'm going to say the way we handle adversity I think all champions handle adversity throughout the season and the teams that handle it well throughout the ups and downs and can weather the storm in a game in a season uh, ultimately determines you know the trajectory of their season you know one bad game one bad drive if you let it affect the rest of the season the rest of the game it becomes a snowball effect and vice versa if you handle it well you you know get the mistakes on the sideline after an interception or after a, a long drive that's into a touchdown, you get those uh, corrections fixed. You come back out there, it's like it never happened. Um, it's like a short memory. So I think that's my, my word. And when you handle it well, the broadcast guys go, oh, that's been a magical season for yeah. them. It's worked out yeah. so well for them. When you're right, there's just such that microcosm of that drive or converting that third and four, mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. I, I, this is a real easy question, I guess, for you, but go ahead. I'll let you tackle that well, one too, I mean, Coach. Uh, we want to be conference champions. Uh, you know, we want to, um, you know, we're, we're at a point in our program to where, you know, we certainly feel like that we can do that. And uh, I think getting some early confidence, you know, in our team uh, will be big. But, um, you know, I mean, that's, 
that's where it's at. That's where it's at for us. I feel like we're ready to take that step, you know, and ready to do that. Talk about the community support. And I, I know it's each individual, everybody uh, in this room that we'll be talking to today, and I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, we've got teams from metropolitan areas, Tennessee State, uh, Lindenwood with St. Louis, and, and then we have the Tex and the UT Martins and the Eastern Illinois to talk about. I'll talk about what it's like. Uh, you, you mentioned longtime uh, Middle Tennessee native. Uh, let's talk about Cookville. Well, it's awesome. I mean, it's a town of a little over 30,000 people. Um, you know, a lot of growth out by the interstate. It's kind of the in between between Nashville and Knoxville. But, you know, the core of Cookville itself, you know, is. Uh, Still got a small town feel to it, even though we have over 30,000 people. I mean, you drive around town, there's, you know, wings up or tech pride signs in everybody's yard. Uh, you know, the overpasses are painted purple and gold. Uh, the mayor of our city, uh, you know, uh, Ricky Shelton is a Tennessee Tech alum. I mean, you go down the list of all the people that are in town, you know, that all have a connection, you know, to Tennessee Tech in the Upper Cumberland area. So, and it's not just Cookville, you know, the, the Upper Cumberland area encompasses the surrounding counties. Uh, you know of Cookville and so there really is a lot of tech pride and uh, in our in our area one of our um, alums football alums that works at Avert Express and uh, he said that Avert Express employs over 400 Tennessee Tech graduates you know that's just an example so uh, great place to live a great community and we have a, a ton of support and, uh, and and we're excited about the, this season. Tennessee Tech has been joining us head coach Dwayne Alexander Jeremiah Oatesfall and Josh Relliford. We've got much more. We still have a few more on the calendar to include the newest member of the Ohio Valley Conference. This is Ohio Valley Conference Football Media Day 2022 presented by Delta Dental.